a reflection on healing. In the Lord's Prayer in Matthew's Gospel, we find the words that Jesus taught us to pray, including, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And in Revelations chapter 21, we find these words concerning life in heaven. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. So we are living here on earth in the now and the not yet. Ultimate and full healing will be found in heaven's eternity. Yet as Jesus walked this earth, he healed many people. People found physical, spiritual, and emotional healing from God. And many people still do, even in these modern days. So we live here with the paradox of healing, yet waiting to be healed. Of knowing, yet waiting to know. Of seeing, yet waiting to see. We live with pain, yet find easing of our pain. In sickness, yet seeking health. What is wonderful is to know that God loves us and understands our frailties and pain. Sometimes our sadness is an opportunity to remember God's grief as he sees all that is going on in this world that has fallen from his perfection through human sin. We know this world is broken in so many ways, and yet so many of us are longing to live more meaningful lives. We find these words of Jesus in John 10. I have come that they may have life and life to the full. Now I'd like to read some more words from the Bible about healing. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs 16. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. From Jeremiah 17. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. From Isaiah 41. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. From Isaiah 53. But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. From Jeremiah 30. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. From Philippians 4. Father God, thank you that you care for each and every one of us. Please help us as we walk in the now and the not yet of your kingdom. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you came to give us life more abundantly. and We thank you that you are familiar with our pain and our sorrows. Holy Spirit, please guide us as we seek wisdom and healing. Please bring to mind areas in our lives that need the light and life of God. Help us to let go of the pain of bitterness, especially when we feel we've been wronged by others. Help us to forgive others as you have forgiven us. We ask that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Father God, I pray you will draw close to us. I pray you will touch us with your healing power. Help us to walk close with you each day. Help us to worship you with our lives. Help us to learn how to receive healing from you and learn how to seek to seek you to pray for healing for others. We thank you that you're a good, kind, faithful and loving God and that one day you will wipe every tear from our eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things will have passed away.